Are you a fan of heights? Because if you are, this video is probably not for you. But if you're like me, you're really not thrilled with the thought of climbing up a tall ladder and especially not climbing up a ladder multiple times to get a project done. Now in our case, we decided to paint all the walls in our house, which was fine except for we ran into the last two rooms in the house, which is our living room and our entryway. And we saved those two for last because they have 18 foot walls. The thought of having to climb up and down a shaky ladder all day long in order to get these two rooms painted really wasn't appealing to me. It was actually making me feel a little bit sick to my stomach. So in order to figure out what we could do instead of that, and instead of having to spend the money that we didn't have to hire a professional painter, we decided to see what other options there were on the market to at least cut down on the amount of time we had to spend climbing up and down the ladder. First, I broke this task down into two major pieces. One was getting the walls painted with a roller, and the other was getting the walls trimmed between the top of the wall and the ceiling. So what I ended up doing was I started researching poles that we could use in order to paint the walls, and I came across this one. This is a pole that's really long. This is a pole from a company called Mr. Long Arm, and this pole comes in three different sections. Uh, this is completely collapsed, and it's eight feet, four inches high, completely collapsed. Um, if you extend it the whole way, then it hits 23 feet fully extended. I can show you what that looks like here. You just have to loosen this part and then you can pull out the metal pole to extend it. And then when you get it to the right length that you want, you just tighten this back down. And again, there's two sections for this. I'll loosen up the other one. You can see that's the longer, the thicker pole here. So it's got two aluminum poles on the, out, on the inside and on the outside, it's a fiberglass pole. We were able to find this at our local hardware store for under 50 bucks. So it's a really good deal. We decided to give it a shot and it worked really, really well to get our walls rolled. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go check this out. Um, you probably don't wanna order it online though because to ship an eight foot pole is probably not gonna be cheap on the shipping department. So I'll leave a link to, I think you can get it through Home Depot. I'll leave a link to Home Depot in the description where you can go and check this out and see what the price is in your area. All right, so now the walls are rolled, everything looks great. Now the only thing left to do is get the rest of the wall painted out and trim the top piece that goes up to the ceiling itself. Now I was convinced I was gonna have to use a ladder in order to do this, but while I was doing research for the right extension pole to use, I actually found another product from the same company that makes the extension pole we purchased, and it's actually a trim pad that works with their extension pole, and it's designed to be able to trim up around ceilings and trim around trim work and all those things uh, on the top of your pole without having to actually climb a ladder and uh, do it the old fashioned way up in the air. Now, I was still skeptical about this um, because we've used some other paint pads in the past and the only one that's worked well for us before is one from Sureline where we use that to trim most everything out and it, it saves us the hassle of having to use painter's tape or actually having to you know, have really a great skill of cutting in with a brush. We used another competing brand that really didn't do a great job and we weren't thrilled with that. So I was a little bit skeptical. This was about 10, 15 bucks, I believe. And so it really wasn't too expensive. If it didn't work, it was no big deal. And if it did work, then it would be uh, you know, a lifesaver, honestly. So we didn't have to climb the ladder. Before we decided to put this on the wall, 18 feet up in the air, we trimmed a little bit around some lower trim to see how it worked. And the results were really good. Um, it got really close to the wall. We had, still had to be careful not to put too much paint on the paint pad because it could squeeze out and then get paint on an area, a surface that we didn't want it on. But if we were careful getting paint on this pad, not put too much paint on it, um, it was able to cover pretty much everything all the way up to the edge. So we ended up using this on the ceiling and the results were fantastic. It covered everything that we needed it to cover and it didn't get any paint on the ceiling. So between these two products, between Mr. Longarm, the extension pole, and this paint pad, we were able to get the entire surface of the walls done for both of our rooms uh, without having to use a ladder at all, which is just, just amazing, honestly. Now, before you purchase these, there are a couple things that you should be aware of. So let's talk about the downsides real quick, or maybe not the downsides, but the things you should just know uh, while you're using this to make sure the finished results are gonna meet your expectations. First with the extension pole, it is quite a lot of work. When you're painting the walls, it's gonna use a lot of upper body strength because you're actually gonna to have to put more force on the roller in order to roll it. You've got the weight of the pole there as well. And you're gonna be going uh, from the motion of actually painting on the wall to lowering it down to the paint tray to get the roller re refilled. Now, I still think that this is gonna be less effort over time uh, doing it this way than actually climbing up and down a ladder. But just know that it is going to be a little bit hard to get this uh, all in one fell swoop, especially if you have a large area that you need to cover. You might wanna break the job down into a couple different days so you don't get worn out. 
The next thing you need to know about the pole is that you need a decent amount of space to be able to work with it. So this wasn't a problem with our living room because we had a pretty big area, but it was a little bit tricky with our hallway because we really only had the uh, length of the hallway. We didn't have a really deep hallway. So we had to be sure to position the paint tray at either end of the hallway. So we had enough room to lower the pole down, be able to refill it on the paint tray and then raise it back up and then go to where we needed it. Um, just keep that in mind. If you have really tall ceilings and you need to use this anyway, you're probably gonna have enough room to lower it, but that is a little bit of a challenge potentially when you're using this method. Next is the paint pad. Now, like I said, one of the tricks to using that is to make sure you don't get too much paint on it. And this can be a little bit tricky when this is on a pole because when you're lowering it into a paint tray, you're kind of far away from it. So it's a little bit hard to judge at first as to how uh, deep you're putting it in the paint. You'll get the feel for it after a little bit, but it is a little bit tricky at first, so just be aware. I would practice some with the pole in an area that is easy to get to to do some touch-up work versus starting out on a ceiling where the only option you have is to actually climb a ladder and do some touch-up paint on the ceiling. If you're really concerned about dipping it too deep in the paint tray, the other option is you can use a paint brush in order to paint the paint on the paint pad first. That helps make sure that there's not too much paint on the pad. Uh, the only problem with that is it takes a little bit longer because there's a couple more steps involved. The other thing to know is it might take a little bit of work to figure out what angle you need to put the pole at and how much pressure you need to use in order to get this to slide across the wall and up against the ceiling. We had some problems in the beginning because our walls were painted with a flat paint, so it really didn't want to glide very well on the first go around, um, but because we used satin paint uh, to paint over the flat paint, the next go around, it was actually able to move a lot smoother. So just be aware of that. Like I said, I'll have links in the description below where you can go check out both the extension pole and the paint pad if you're interested in that. And also, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and also subscribing to the Top Home Owner channel if you haven't already. At this channel, our goal is to help you become the very best homeowner that you can possibly be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.